My name is Jodie and I'm here at the QUT Clinical Practice Facility and I'm going to show you today a complex wound dressing. Now this is an area that you need to be confident and competent in as a student um, and a registered nurse once um, you're out on prac. So I've already gathered my gear and we've already set our patient up on our bluey here which we would use in all circumstances to ensure we protect the bed from any spills etc. My plastic bag is on the side of the trolley closest to the patient and I've collected my dressing pack and opsite to cover the wound at the end, a dura fibre, bandage, my cleaning fluid which may differ depending on the facility's policy but for today is normal saline and a pair of scissors to cut the dura fibre and I've also got an extra melanin as well. So I've now, wiped my trolley down to make sure that it's nice and clean and I've also done a social hand wash just to make sure my hands are clean before I do the setup. So to set up I first grab my dressing pack from the bottom of the trolley which is where I keep all my equipment that I'm going to need so that it's not in the way for when I'm setting up. One edge at a time pulling out and making sure that you are grabbing the underside and always opening away from you. And you'll notice that I'm not reaching across my field so that I don't contaminate that as well. Using the yellow forceps, I can use those to pull everything out and use for any long dressings and then they go in the bin. Now the order for what you put on next is, doesn't really matter, however you grab it is usually how I go. My bandage I'll actually open but I'm going to put next to the patient so that it's handy when I'm at, the, um, when I'm at that point. Always open away from your field so nothing goes over the field from your packaging. And there's always one that's a little bit difficult. And then the last thing I've got is my normal saline, so I need to check the expiry date, if it's an opened bottle, when it was opened, and the time, because if it's over 24 hours, I need to get a new one. When I'm pouring, about 10 centimetres above my field, and I always pour into my big one, it doesn't really matter, and pour in as much as you think you will need. Once I'm finished here, everything's set up, my patient is ready. I'm going to go and do a good two minute hand wash before I come back and use clean hand technique or you can use gloves depending on the facility policy or even the wound requirements. So once I'm set up and I've washed my hands I very carefully pick up my forceps and I actually prep all of my equipment first. Not everybody does this, it's totally individual, it's up to you. Wet as many gauze swabs as you feel you're going to need to clean the wound. This might be all of them and you may need extra as part of your setup process. Now whilst I'm doing this I'm also going to just have a look at the wound and here we uh, use the time framework for wound assessment and the big things that we're looking for is the amount of exudate coming out, the amount of time that the wound has been there for, um, the size so in many cases you'll find you need to measure your wound and also just the colour and so forth of that wound. Now because I need to cut the dura fibre, I'm going to do that first so that while I'm all clean and I haven't been to the wound, I can do that. I'll just pick my scissors up so that I can grab them easily and 
and pull off the little bit off the end. Now with the dura fiber, you do need to make sure that you're cutting that to fit to the wound rather than um, oversize, mainly because this will absorb exudate from the wound and what we don't want is any of that going onto the healthy tissue around the wound. So slowly as needed, depending on the size, this one's quite big, I shouldn't need to cut off too much. And I'll do an, an approximate and then I'll trim down a little bit. And if there are a little bit of areas where it hangs over just a touch, what you can do is fold it as needed. And that should be about right. So once I've done that, I'll get rid of my scissors because I don't need them now. And what I'm going to quickly do is give the wound a clean. This one's actually quite nice and clean and as it's a rounder wound and has a little bit of depth into the center, what I'm actually going to do is use a circular motion and come out from the center. And it's one motion without lifting. And you may need to do that two or three, four, five, six times. It depends on the wound. Once you're happy that it's as clean as you can get it, we're going to dry that in the same method. So from the center and out, and I'll just give that two, and then I'll dry the edges because we want our uh, dressing to stay on the wound, which means if we've got any adhesives, that's not going to adhere to the skin if it's wet or damp. Now first up, I'll put my Dura Fibre in. And this will nicely stick to the wound and the exudate. And as I said, we can just fold any little bits in if we need to. The next part is our melanin, shiny side down. And that just helps to protect and add an extra layer. Now depending on the size of the wound, you can put an upside on to make that nice and waterproof. But given that I've put an extra cover on that, my little melanin um, upside that I've chosen is not going to be overly um, conducive. So what I would actually prefer to do is put a bandage on. So with that, we can now touch everything because our wound is nice and covered. And our patient would be very helpful at this point in being able to lift their limb. And I'm just going to anchor it over the dressing and then use a figure eight to secure that. And that would go over the dressing as well. And once we've done that, just using micropore only, never use the little clips in case they come off in the bed and pierce our patient's skin, which could cause further problems. And we're all done. And just making sure in a little while that that's not too tight for the patient, then we don't need to loosen it off. So once we're all finished and our patient is comfortable again, just to clean up, you don't need to do too much, it's just a matter of putting everything together and into our bag. And then this will either go into the hazardous waste or into the normal bin, depending on the policy at the hospital, cleaning down our trolley and putting back our normal saline and scissors either into the sharps bin or off to be recleaned and repackaged. Also need to wash your hands once you've finished all of this process as well um, and make sure that you've documented everything required within the care plan, 
the wound plan, um, wound plan or the progress notes depending on where that documentation needs to be for your patient. And look back on how you went and consider whether there are any changes or anything differently that you might do for next time.